Hello Aquarius, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Aquarius is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free, it doesn't cost anything. If there's anything you would like me to pray over, or meditate upon, or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Aquarius, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And here is the Eon card, Judgment card, Rebirth, Reawakening, the Baptism by Fire, the Trial by Fire. Uh, I feel like there is a major decision in front of you right now. And it's, it's a doorway. If you were to walk through, would really have to shut the door on the past, right? It's something from which you can't return, okay? Um, this, is, this is a big, it's, it's kind of, um, we're jumping timelines here. We are um, transitioning into a higher dimension, right? There's no coming back from this, okay? Very big decision for you. It's not an easy one. I think it's a decision that's going to have to, it's going to see you leaving a lot of things behind, all right? We're going to put this into some context. What is this door? What is on the other side of it? And um, well, what decision are we going to make? Okay. Two of Wands. What are you going to decide to do? Um, the Two of Wands sometimes is us um, it, leaning toward the side of yes, right? It's kind of a car that says, I am doing something. I am walking forward. I am taking action here, okay? Um, it's a difficult choice. It is a difficult choice. More fire energy. Four of Wands. We have to complete something. There's something that we have to wrap up here first, okay? We've got some Leo energy in the background, the Lust card, more fire energy. We've got a Nine of Pentacles. This is something I think it's going to, uh, it's going to level up your life. It's going to lead to a lot of uh, increase, a lot of gains for you. Okay, could be financial, it could be, could be many other things, but it's the idea of, of living a life that is um, functioning and performing the way you want it to. All right, more fire energy. In fact, more Leo energy, fixed fire energy here. Okay, there might be a Leo person very, very close to you or very, very close to this situation, very close to this decision. Okay. And here is another card of decisions. It's the adjustment card. We've got a ten of swords. We've got the devil card. And the three of pentacles. It's interesting that the pentacles are at the top here. Right? That we understand, we understand what the long-term implications of this choice will be. We know what kind of a life it's going to lead to. It's going to be a lot of a lot more success, a lot more work. Um, maybe this is you know a business related kind of thing, okay? But there's something that we haven't completed yet. There's something within us. There's something that's nagging you that feels unfinished, okay? Um, Spirit's telling me that you had a lot of supernatural kind of experiences when you were a kid. That maybe it was. Um, you know, like ghosts or something, like in your house. There's just these things, these weird things that um, you weren't ever able to explain. And even to this day, you don't really know what they were, right? Uh, let's select the mystery card. Let's get this out on the table before we take a look at some of the rest of these cards. This is one random card from the Smith Weight Tarot. And this is going to go right here, our very own Kelly Kapoor, right there on top. I feel that, um, I feel like you lost your significant other. And I feel like this is the Leo energy that we get. I don't think they were a Leo person. Maybe they were. It doesn't matter. I feel like there was a, um, there was a very, there was a passionate relationship. 
Okay, and I don't know if it may be a spouse, maybe not, um, but a passionate relationship that you had, and I feel like I feel like you lost them. Okay, I'm feeling a contemporary male energy, someone that's about the same age as you, and they've passed, they've transitioned into spirit. Okay, um, I feel like almost, I feel like now. Um, Getting an S an S A name, Sam or, or something with an S and A. Yeah. Um, I feel like now you're kind of on a you're on a solo climb. That was your that was your partner in crime, you know. I feel like you, you would do everything with that person. Yeah. And now we're kind of in this transitional state where we maybe there is a lot of things that you still have to finish up. I feel like maybe this was recent. Yeah. Or there's still, there's this energy like it's it's fresh energy, like it's still, it's still very much a, a fresh thing for you. I feel like there's a lot of things you haven't done yet in regards to that person's transition. Okay, maybe there's still a lot of things, you know, um, that you have of theirs, a lot of loose ends, uh, tying up things, um, Tying up things with whatever kind of partnership you had. Now, I don't know that it was a marriage. I wonder if even this was more of a business or a creative kind of partner than it was like a romantic or like a spouse, you know? Uh, because I feel that there was a lot of, it was a passionate thing. There was a lot of, maybe there's a lot of creativity that happened in that relationship. You know, could be more of a, more of a friend than, than a lover. Sure, that could be. Um... I feel like we have to make a really big decision now if we are going to move forward with something that maybe was, maybe like the collaborative, um, like the two of you wrote a song together, and now you've got this decision to make if you're going to carry on with this music um, and do it as kind of like a solo thing, uh, or if you're going to kind of leave it on the shelf and and not touch it again you know um this person with the sa name they're telling you that they're telling you that they want you to go forward they want you to do this and maybe it has something to do with traveling because i see a lot of things in boxes and it could be that we're we're kind of we're collecting belongings here and we're making that decision okay do i do i move forward with this big opportunity you know in life um, or is it somehow you somehow you're not supposed to, or somehow there's there's energy keeping you here? Maybe it's leaving the home that the two of you shared, or or leaving where you grew up together, or you know something like that. Leaving something that's familiar that has, I think, a lot of these really good memories. Now making this making this departure, and for some reason it feels like we can't go back. Once we go through this doorway, we can't go back. Okay. I don't know all the details. I don't need to know all the details. Um, the Two of Wands is telling me what you feel you need to do in your life. And I feel like you're being, you're being pulled in that direction. That your own soul, your own energy, your own creative spirit is, is pushing you toward this decision, pushing you through this doorway, which is letting a lot of things go. Okay. It's kind of, it's, it's making the past official. You know what I mean? It could be, um, I don't think this is it, but it kind of feels like uh, we have lost our partner and now there is this new opportunity for a new partner. And once we go through that, once we go through that doorway, we make that decision, we can't undo it, you know? So this might be the first, the first new thing after that loss. If that makes sense, it doesn't have to be. It could be romantic. It doesn't have to be, okay. But I feel as if there's a lot. There's a lot that's speaking to you about it. We can see. We can understand what the future of this will bring. We understand that this is a path towards our success, and I feel that this person is still around you in spirit, and they want you to do it. They want to see you. Um, with the same kind of passion and ambition that you you had together, now they want to see you continue to do that, whether it's alone or, or with another partnership, it doesn't matter. But they want to see you succeed. Okay? 
I feel like, I feel like they passed from an accident. I don't feel like it was a, an illness or I don't feel like it was a long drawn out thing. I feel like it was quick and I feel like it was some sort of an accident or like a, you know, um, it's kind of a natural disaster kind of thing, right? Something that happens suddenly. Yeah. Um, the, the devil card over here in this position, this I think is what we do not want. And this might be that solo climb. We don't want to do this alone. We, we want to have, um, we want to have a, we want to have a partnership. We want to have a, a union. We want to have, I think, um, we want to be able to share this with someone. Okay. And we've got the, the justice card down here. And you're just, you're having this issue with what is the right thing to do. You know, we think about what is fair, what is just, but what is right, you know. What feels like maybe the moral thing to do for you. And this is, this is a dilemma. And I don't, again, I don't know the details. But I feel like we've got all of this fire energy. And all the fire energy is all right here. Right? It's all right here. And we're just kind of, we're just not sure, should I use this? It's almost, it's kind of almost like you found a bag of money on the street. And you're just like, I don't know if I should use it. If I should go find the person that it belongs to, I feel like you'd thought you'd give it back to the person, you know. But what if there was no way to do that? What if it was absolutely impossible to figure out where that money came from, who it belongs to, right? Um, what if the person and uh, you'd have no way to know? What if the person that lost it didn't care, right? What if they left it there on purpose so somebody would find it and have a wonderful day, right? Um, there's still that kind of dilemma, that sense of the, the ethics of it. You know, what do I do? You can't find the person that left it there. You take it to the police, you take it to the authorities, you take it to, you know, your parents and ask them, what do I do? Um, it kind of feels like that. You have a, an opportunity now to really do something that is going to change your life. It's going to level up your life. But there's some sort of, there's something tying you tying you down here. There's something holding you back. There's something preventing you from going through this doorway. I don't think it's about found money. I think it's about an obligation that we have to another person. Even if that person isn't with us anymore. Okay. Now, the interesting thing with all of this is that we don't have any at all, right? Not, not a single water card here. So I wonder if this I wonder if this is not not romantic in any way. Maybe it's not family, maybe it's not maybe it's really a, like a contractual thing. Maybe this is literally a professional relationship that you had and you kind of want to either get out of your contract or you had a contract with somebody but they're they're no longer here. Do you still honor that agreement? Maybe it was a verbal agreement or whatever, you know. Um do you honor somebody's somebody's wishes? Do you are you obligated to do that? You've got a really this is really kind of a this is a difficult spot. You know? It's a difficult spot here. But the t the ten of swords in the position of the environment, this is suggesting that you're no longer at least legally, maybe even you know, ethically obligated. doesn't mean that you're not spiritually obligated or that you don't feel obligated, but there's nothing official that is preventing you from taking advantage of this current opportunity and go through this doorway, get on that plane, go fly to wherever, you know. Um, the Ten of Swords, that obligation is, is gone, okay? Um, I, I don't think it was anything... Maybe it was contractual. It doesn't, it's very, very strange. And if this is for you, you, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to try to figure out all the details. Um, I think that's, that's where, you, that's, that's your job, I think, you know, is figuring out how this energy applies to what's going on with you. The four of wands underneath the surface, you were working on something with them that never got finished. And now I wonder if it's 
do I have to finish that first before I can move on or can I just scrap this? Can I take it for myself and use it? Um, what am I supposed to do with this thing? It's something that wasn't, it wasn't ever done. And so you feel like there's no closure there. You, you feel like there's something that's still, we're having a, a hard time deciding what we're supposed to do. Okay. Um, I feel like there is a military connection. It could be a military family. This other person could have been someone in the military, or you could be ex-military, something like that. There's a connection with frogs. What's the, what's the joke with the frogs? Or maybe their symbol was a frog. Yeah. I don't see a real frog. It's one of those uh, ceramic ones, I guess, with the, the, the eyes that kind of light up. You know? I don't know if it's in the yard or something somewhere, but it's, a, it's an important symbol. Um, it's hard to ignore this nine of pentacles that's sitting up here right at the top because this is what we're, this is the potential. It's like, this is the land of, this, this is the best life. Wait, this is your destination waiting for you. Yeah. And it's kind of like we, we feel like we need to go through this portal and go right up here into this. That whatever this is, just get it done. Just, you know, close the book on this chapter and go through here. This is some sort of financial success or a relocation. Uh, this is really, this is, this is the life that you want. There's something holding you, then tying you down and making it difficult for you to just say, well, heck yeah, I'm going. There's something holding you back from this. Okay. In the future, we see that there is action being taken. This is another one of those Leo power cards. But I think that it really is about, um, you know, the, the dilemma, the two, right? Because these are both Leo energies, you know? One might be more potential and one is, is actual. This is what could have been. This is what, what will be. And they are different because I feel like this person's no longer here, okay? So we have... We have less choices here than we thought, than, than we think we do. All right. I think we should look at the mystery card. I want to see if there's any kind of water energy here. Um, also, I feel like you have a lot of like old concert tickets. You went to a lot of shows with this person. Maybe it is a, a musical collaboration or something. I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of concert tickets that you've saved or they're in they're in the box, part of that stuff that you have in the box. Yeah. Well, let's look at the mystery card. Let's see what this might be. Um, you can see some water energy, but honestly, I think it's going to be earth. Because I feel like this is really, this is about very practical things. This is really a decision that is about the physical life, the material world that you live in and what moves you're going to make, what moves you should make. If you have a prediction, put it down in the comments. Let's take a look. The Hierophant, well, it is earth energy. This is fixed earth energy. This is kind of a card that says, you gotta go ask somebody else, you know? Um, this, is, this is kind of something where we're waiting for somebody to give us the, the go ahead. We're waiting for someone to say, maybe you're waiting for a sign. Maybe you're waiting for something from spirit or something from, from this person that says, it's okay for you to move forward. It's okay for you to go on. Kind of looking for somebody to absolve us of any kind of guilt or responsibility so that we can move into the future without feeling that there's something tying us back, down or holding us back. Yeah. So we're looking to a kind of higher authority, somebody who can kind of say, what you want to do is okay. Like we're almost asking for permission, right? It's almost like we're asking for permission. What I think I want to do is consult the I Ching on this. Yeah. The I Ching has a strange way of always being right, always being relevant, and always asking the right questions too. Let's see what we've got. Okay, there we go. 
10. Treading. Treading a tiger's tail. Um, it's dangerous business, right? It's risky business. Um, and it's kind of, you know, in this way too, we're looking for the green light. We're looking for somebody to say, yeah, this is, this is worth it. This is something that we, we don't know if we should be doing this. It's almost like a kid who is, um, is about to do something that they think is kind of scary or wrong or dangerous. And they just kind of look like my daughter does this. She'll look back at me to see if I'm giving her like an approval kind of look or like a don't do that kind of look, you know, like she'll look back and she'll, she'll get that. So 10, treading a tiger's tail. It does not bite people creating success. It does not bite people. This is telling me, um, and I don't mean to laugh, but I'm, I'm just thinking of my daughter again and how cute she is. Um, doing this thing, taking this, making this move, going through this doorway, taking this opportunity, it's not, gonna, it's not something that's going to come back and bite you in the butt, right? It's, you're treading the tiger's tail. It's going to be okay. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to cause any kind of uh, damage, you know? And maybe that's part of it too. Maybe we're just wondering if the moves that we're going to make are going to ripple out and have some effect on people that we don't want to hurt anybody, but we need to move on for the, from this. And maybe there's family involved. Maybe it's the other person's family or other, uh, you know, professional relations or associates or something, you know, treading the tiger's tail. It does not bite people creating success. Treading the tiger's tail is perilous. So invite the creature's power into your life as protection, fertility, and blessing. Living in harmony with the tiger takes skill and care. Look to the intensity, intensity you are drawn to in the situation you are asking about. Its danger is there and also its potential gift. Where is the tiger? Do you know how to work with such power? Well, I kind of, you know, tiger, I'm kind of thinking of this lion with this Leo energy. And uh, I, I don't know if this is resonating with you. I'm honestly a little bit perplexed with this whole reading because I don't know exactly what this is that we're talking about. Yeah. So if this is your reading, maybe you can help me out a little bit and um, offer some clarification in the comments. If you want, don't reveal anything personal. We're going to do an extended reading though, too. And if you want to stick around for that, there's a link in the corner. There's one down below. New readings for Aquarius every Thursday and Sunday. I am here every day. You can come back and see me again tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. does not cost you anything. And definitely leave me some comments, right? Let me know where in the world you're watching from also. I want you to know that you are the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you. And we're all in this together.